Perfect, right, gentlemen, man. if you go and open up your maps, take a look, uh, you'll see your squad's paths marked. Essentially, platoons rolling out for the east of here. All right, first, let's talk about our objective. <clears throat> An enemy terrorist cell has set up in the police station in Bravo 395. Uh, we're expecting they have some radio jamming equipment, so we're doing a quick night raid to take it out. Uh, we expect them to have reinforcements once contact's made from somewhere, sure, so we're going to keep on our toes and have a widespread. Uh, if you check your maps, you'll see Squad 3 at live is going to be breaking north along the marks through the alleyways. They're going to hit that berm south of the police station before the other two squads do, and they're going to try to push as far east as they can before they uh, start engaging contacts. At that time, uh, Squad 1, or right, we'll skip that, Phoenix, can you remark your route? Squad 2 will be moving on the south road as a screening element for any reinforcements coming in from the south or east. Uh, if they don't take contact on there, they'll be pushing up the river bed, Charlie 3 4, north, and heading the compound from the east side. Uh, Phoenix's squad, squad 1, will be pushing up the alleyways in the center, acting as QRF or 3 or 2 if they come into contact, but with the primary goal of reaching that berm that 3 will have occupied and reinforcing them. Once all squads are in position, 3 is going to be a base of fire element, while 1 assaults the southwest of the compound and 2 pulls up on the east side. Remember, our objective we're looking for is radio jamming equipment. Uh, we expect it to be somewhere in the north side of the compound, but we are not certain. Does anyone have any questions? Great. Squad leads, go ahead and break them out. Prep for live. we got three minutes. It really comes down to your positioning more than uh, how well you can shoot. For the most part, suppression is better, in my opinion, than the actual shot because it allows you to do more, your platoon to do more, but you obviously you're going to need somebody who does know how to shoot to, to finish them off. And we right. are live. Off of uh, live, we got blue three moving northeast, blue one and two moving southeast, followed by command. Red uh, platoon, red two is on point proper with command, with red one and three moving in from the south, pushing north, clearing through neighborhood. Looks like they're going to beat the U.S. there by a mile, so yeah. uh, might not see any action in the now, this might be a good time if the insurgents would actually stop where they are now uh yeah if they keep going the u.s could pot potentially flank them if i were the insurgents i would have stopped where they are and uh and looked for that flank by the u.s at least from my view it lo looks like they could flank uh, pretty well yeah, they may be putting themselves into a position to get flanked. It looks like they're moving through the the alleys. Just they're just trying to get to police station as quickly as possible. Actually, it looks like Red One is moving through the police station or moving to police station to get there as quickly as possible. Red Three right. actually looks like they're trying to camp out. They're they're trying to look. They're looking. They're actively looking for positions to camp out. And I'd like to see them push just a little further west, though. Um, I'm not sure how useful the buildings they are currently in are. Even though you got Boogie here on the roof. Right. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, let me see, Blue 2 and Blue 5 are uh, pushing me. south. You got a phone tax soon. The police station down here. Dwarf, comms, please. That wasn't my that was On Phoenix's cameras, he's blue, uh, squad lead for Blue 1 moving east through this little pond area. I They're moving the at here, a decent pace. Of really allowing the red team to get set up, is red red to get set up where they get want. Sight. Let's make sure we get Blue, uh, red one is set up on the north or west oh, of police station. Red three is south of the police station. Blue one or blue team still getting their line in position as they uh, start to move east. Blue two's got some guys pretty far back. I'm not sure what's going on there. Pretty hesitant, hesitant to move through this open field, and they start the. Now, if Phoenix does get in a firefight. I believe Red One, which is uh, Storm's uh, guys right there, they're probably going to be looking to flank Phoenix from the north. So those uh, three guys up in the north looks like Outlaw, Frederick, and Loopy. It's going to be very important to stop Red One's uh, advance on Phoenix. Yeah, I see Loopy, Frederick, and Outlaw here. It looks like they're just pulling back. Yeah, right as I said that. Yeah, right as you said that. Okay, I got here. As soon as you hop wall, push east and go to squad lead. We'll heal up with the medic. Uh, I thought that was intentional. I think they just went the wrong way. 
And yep. before they realize it, Squad Lead's calling them back. I thought that was intentional that they were across the street. I was like, that is good flank security to have somebody it is. on the other side of the street. <laughs> we just overthought it. Help on two clear. Go ahead. So, I believe that was squad three knocked one just waiting for Wait, there was a kill? Yeah, there was a kill. Uh, Phoenix got contact. Yeah. Who it was. Beware, looks like, is the one who went down. We, I completely missed it. I didn't even hear I did it. I too. I didn't hear it because it's a suppressor. It's a suppressor, we yeah. too far away to hear the <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that was good. Good shot. Uh, who, who got that kill? You said Phoenix? Check. Uh, Phoenix is squad. It was Miyamoto. Like, uh, yeah, Miyamoto. Oh, I like this. Good Good shot. shots on Miyamoto. Super sneaky. Wonder if the insurgents are aware they've lost that one guy. Okay, tour east looks clear for now. Who are the SOs? Uh, BD, uh, Avernus. The uh, platoon lead for the U.S. We've got Silas with his Shadow Dwarf because he's going through his command training with his squad leads Razor. BVD runner and Phoenix. Copy. Continue for insurgents. We have platoon lead Alpha uh, Guido with his squad middle? lead. Squad two is holding our southeast Best guys. Let's make sure we have eyes east, storm. north, and northeast. So a lot of experience on the squad okay, lead level. Squad um, not as much on the command level, but ooh, shots out. We got shots. BVD guns takes out two. No, they're too far. Two of them wow. got mowed down there. From where though? BVD's guys, uh, flanking from the south. Oh, I see. I was like, how did they get those? Sh wow, really? Money solid Man got two kills. That was all Money Man. Yeah, I see Money Man's little uh, flank here. I was like, I, I, I was looking at, I was on Phoenix's guys, looking east. I was like, there's no way they could have gotten shots on like that. But Money Man's got the nice flank down the alley. It was just beautiful. We're gonna have to stay really low to hear any of this. All we hear is just ricochets. Really solid moving on. Uh, Silas Park getting his guys in a nice L-shaped ambush. Breaching charge down. Check mats. With uh, blue one on the holding, west, uh, security blue staff. two on the south. Dash, let's maintain yeah. eyes great, east northeast if you can. Charlie, I yep. I'm just gonna draw this out so that you guys uh, understand. Whoops. Nice little L-shaped ambush here. Puts the red team ID. in a great kill zone. ID goes off. No kills. Was that an ID or was that a satchel charge? I believe uh, that could have been a satchel charge. Because we got another guy down, actually. Beauty of Venice, ask all the questions you want. That's our job to uh, to answer. What are the colors of the comms? Yeah. Blue means yeah. local. Green yeah. means uh, squad comms, which you're not going to hear because there's nobody in our squad. And red means command comms. Well, actually, it's not red anymore. It's white. When did that happen? Ooh, frag out. Takes out uh, Doobie Skew. BVD runner may bleed out, and he does bleed out. Spacing, folks. I think he was healing them, so I guess you can... You can yeah. Uh, we need to take these Forgive him on that. Of us. But he does get, they both get taken out by Probably a grenade. Update on kills. Three man. kills for the U.S., two for the Insurgents. What's the next five move five here? Oh, what do you think? Holding Darby. Um, on the just by looking at the map. All right, moving. If two and one, if blue two and blue one can uh, push red three simultaneously, I think they will get that compound fairly easily. And then they can just push north. Or, or do whatever, you know, flank west and uh, around red one. Yeah. But they, so but they need to take out these contacts red first. Red yeah. Yeah. Or over on red three, I should say. Yeah. Take care of the, these guys. It would be the full platoon against uh, one, two, three, five. Easy. I so. And then yeah. move to deal with the rest of the platoon. I think that's a good call as well. Um, ops today, it's crit. Uh, yes, today was supposed to be a postscript and op. Unfortunately, had some server issues, so we swapped it over to a squad op. Just a repeat of late yesterday's operation. Um, but it's it's a fun one. It is U.S. using special ops kits, and they're moving to the police station. Uh, this 
this round to destroy a fob in the area. Yesterday was to recover a, a, a captain. We got captured. Let's try to look northeast here. Can, can you How many players on each side? It is a firefight level up, so about three squads per side. Yeah, about 25, 27 people per side. Okay, dead. Can I keep moving northeast? I'll cover. I'll watch your six. To my... Two. So he must have had uh, line of sight or elevation to do that. Uh, that was now, if Raider's hours, squad is not be. careful, they will lose a good portion of their Roof forces. Looks like Frederick and Loopy and his guys. Yeah. Pushing up yeah. uh, alone there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching the trio that went the wrong way. They're, they they like being out on the flank, and you can respect they do. that. It's yeah. just the space team they've got to be aware of, and this is not a good area to be out on the flank. They're taking shots at something. Oh, they take took out Jack 0800 who was on the roof. I don't even know how he got up there, but he he was up there and he just got domed by a couple shots. One nade. Oh, there's a nade. One nade on the... Uh... Oh, there goes one. There goes two. Th th that's a triple kill. Yeah. Great that's, we just grenade. talked about spacing. That's why you need spacing right there. Two grenades. Uh, another grenade lands on him just to make sure the bodies are dead. Spacing, folks. It's a thing, and that is something you will learn if you take your squad ops tactics and training. Basic course. A lot of fun. Only about 45 minutes to an hour long. And then after you take that, IED will go off. <laughs> um, the IED goes off. Doesn't kill anybody, but better safe than sorry as they go to clear this building. But after you take our squad ops basic training course, then you can participate on any and all of our squad ops events. We host them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays, as well as Friday and Sunday. Post script of events usual. All on the website, no, squad ops. No. Well, like they, they placed a breach to try and clear us out. Uh, but we've retaken the position, so they're not going to... So there are no the light place. sources in we're these buildings. Here, and then wait that means... Once out in the that's open. scary. It's insanely uh, dark. Uh, yep. It gets just insanely dark in these buildings. It could be some crazy, crazy uh, insurgents in these buildings, and that the U.S. have to be on edge as they move to clear. We got this Patrick and Muffin... Map. Say again? Oh, no, no. Somebody on chat was asking, what's the big blue circle on the map? That's the fob radius. Um, That's just the, the build limit for, for the... Nothing to worry about there. We can actually disable that. Yeah. Got Patrick and Muffin Man doing 360 security here. Going around the buildings. I thought they were going to run into Dashby and his guys. But uh, fortunately, they did not. Oh, I see Patrick and Muffin Man now. They're over here by the river. Yeah, they were originally in the compound uh, on the inside of the building that they're up against. Are they moving to, to flank? Or are they... Yeah, I don't think so. Down. Yeah, they're just doing security. But if they do flank, though, they could definitely get the, uh, the hop-up on lawn darts and that. It's above. If they have some. They can. They, if they started to move, I think they'd be able to do it. I think they're more concerned about just defending right, their area, though. Man, now it looks like blue, the the blue three and blue two are pushing north very quickly. Blue three and blue two. Yeah, moving quickly through the north, just to the west of red one. And 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 changing tactics so quickly. Do you think they're trying to throw the insurgents off guard? Well, it sounds like them, it. Though. Yep. Not, none of the insurgents were looking that way. Low fat lard uh, does get uh, taken out from liberal pundit. Well, look! Look at this. They are almost invisible in this. This. Uh... Grenades being thrown everywhere. Two One go down. down. Frag Ranger Two. and Ben WH. Spacing, gentlemen. Yeah, spacing <laughs> and certain just massacring the U.S. with these uh, frags. Watch out, three. There's a breacher charge. Wait, wait, wait. I believe. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you guys post these on YouTube or anything? B BD Avernus. We do post them on YouTube. They are uploaded uh, most Mondays or, or made public on most Mondays. And uh, Twitch holds them for a little bit. Go ahead, uh, cool. So it looks like roughly seven of the U.S.'s deaths 
have been from two grenades. Or possibly three grenades. Uh, that's that's pretty... I can't stress it enough. Spacing is so key. And this is why. Because they have lost seven guys. Almost a full squad. For uh, reasons that should have been uh, happening. Yeah, and in these firefight-sized ops, yeah. one squad is literally a third of your team. Seven guys exactly. is a quarter of your team. That is just a lot of guys to go down to grenades for something as simple as spacing. Scrubius Maximus shooting at Dashby. Um, if tosses a grenade over this, this wall doesn't really take out anything. Dashby is in between a rock and a hard place, means Scrubius and Blackbeard. What's he going to do? I'm going to be asking a lot of questions, call me Dave. I'll try and remember that. Looks like Money Man's going to get in a firefight here. He's got three guys to that door. Uh, Rebby goes down to Patrick Star and the Muffin Man, who set up a nice little flank across the river to the east. These guys have been moving as a buddy very well. I'm not sure who's making this call for Muffin Man or Patrick to be on this flanks like that, but it's it's really working out for them, allowing them to watch these outside walls that the others are constantly trying to clear. Now Cyclone <laughs> somehow got that kill. Uh, I don't know if the stream got it, but. Uh... Oh, down goes Money Man. I'm behind you. I'm getting a rat. Fuck this. I'm putting a breacher charge down. I'll take Cyclone's putting down a breacher charge. It's Charlie Hart. Bravo. Enough, so that's Let's the get thing. Is they're not up. It, this this is an awkward building for the breacher charge. All right, breacher charge down. Back up. Back it, up back it's up. that they're not right up against the wall, so the breacher charge isn't going to kill them. They're actually right by a. I don't know how All right, here. Um. I'm going to ask Xbit to come onto my camera and I'm going to show where they're putting the breach of charge, why it's not effective, and where they should be putting said breach of charge. If you look, breach of charge right there. Boom, goes off. Blast radius is probably about that. So you're not going to get anybody. What they need to do, vault this wall here, vault this wall here, and then put their ID against this wall. That might put this guy in range. Definitely not him. He's he's set. Like he's he's not going anywhere. But uh, they they need to vault some walls. They they can't keep trying to come into this 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 doorway here. It's not gonna work. There's there's just the crossfire. It's just too good. Yeah, I would agree. I read of all that. That's two that's two satchel charges down on this wall on this uh this doorway. Yeah, on that same wall. Yeah. So looks like we got six kills for the U.S. and twelve for the insurgents. Insurgent. This has really Insurgent. turned around very yeah. quickly. Do they know it where they like, are? Uh, That's the thing, Dafter. I don't think they know where they are. It's so hard to see into this building. Look at this. Looks like Blue is gonna keep pushing north out of there. Look at that. You can't see them in this building, like, at all. <laughs> actually, I think that's actually a full wall. The only one who can actually see is it, yeah. I'm, I'm going to give props to uh, Insurgents for having the discipline uh, to, to not shoot when they don't need to. Like, they're, they're keeping very quiet, which uh, I think evens the playing field a little bit when the U.S. is exactly as quiet as they can be. Moving. Yeah, the U.S. with the suppressor don't need to be as quiet with their guns or as All right, coming. tentative with their guns, I guess. Yeah. Um, Because those silencers do help them and do make it a little bit harder for the insurgents to figure out which direction they are coming from. Insurgents having, or excuse me, the U.S. having to circle around. This is going to be their third angle they're going to try and come in at. And I don't know, their so that south push was as good as it could have been. Like, I think they should have kept all their guys on the south and continued to push in from that direction. Agreed. Now, I like what, uh, who is this? Uh, Blue One Phoenix. I like what he's doing. He's trying to get the high ground. Uh, on the, on Palace, I believe. Um, so he might get a really good spot here to see literally everything. Yeah, and Phoenix, the POB we've got is actually the one who's got that greedy position in the Mosque Tower. 
very greedy because uh, it, it is a very high and um, isolated point, making you very easy to spot. But it also offers amazing, amazing point of view. It's going to get him eyes onto police station and to that uh, that village on the uh, or excuse me that neighborhood south. The elevation is unfortunately police. not high enough to get good eyes into. What are thoughts on night vision for spec on? on the I think that would be top. a very uh, difficult barely, thing to mod in. No contacts that, and no visual. But I could be mind. wrong. I don't know anything about modding. Um, and I. Night's such a, a tricky subject. What just blew up? What was that? Wow, that was at Maine. That was at a... <laughs> Interesting. If you look um, at the map right now, all the cameras <laughs> moving over there. Yeah, that was uh, that was U.S. Maine. Yeah. But um, not, night is such a tricky thing for ops because if if it's too dark, people are just gonna boost their gamma. If it's too light, it might as well just be day. I think postscriptum does night well, and it's similar to this without the interior issues where they're like completely black. Um, but it's like you don't need to boost your gamma to see at night, and it does give you that 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 feeling that you are playing at night, and it's just. I really like how Postscript does their night. Phoenix getting shot at by Patrick That's Star. He gives the tower contact roughly 100 meters. Really close. Yeah. Direction with copy. Maybe about century Charlie 37. Patrick Star almost takes out Phoenix. Update on kills 6 for the US, 12 for the insurgents. Still the same. No recent kills. US got, a, or excuse me, INS have about a, uh, a 6 kill advantage. One, I want you to start maneuvering your guys to be ready to assault as well. Copy that. It looks like everywhere that they move to, these insurgents know where they are, which is not good. The, the insurgents have had really solid 360 security this entire yes. round. This may be the the angle for them to come in at come in at now, because there's nobody. There's actually no way for these guys to move east. Or excuse me, yeah, yeah, east. Look, like there, there's this this wall on police station. The only person who may be able to spot this would be Sugarheart looking down the 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 alley. No, even then he can't he can't actually lean out this window. Right. To east. You may have an opening here, and they've got a couple. I'm hoping they've got a couple more satchel charges ready to go. It looks like. Uh, blue two and three, and blue blue three may have no contact pushing in from the east side here, the northeast. Yeah, exactly. If they do, it'll be only be one, one or two guys. Sugar may be in position to spot this, but it's not likely. I money's actually does spot somebody on the east. Yeah, I'm there's a viper, I believe. Yep. The squad ops community where to boost in popularity and popul population would be possible to increase the player limit per team from 40 to 50 or even higher through mods. Um, that would be a squad thing. Hawk goes down to I monies. Uh, that would be a squad thing, Rio. Squad, uh, their goal is 50 v 50 servers. And I, I can tell you, I cannot wait for that to happen because having an entire extra squad per, per platoon allows you to do so much more when it comes to maneuvering. It definitely opens up the viability of two-pronged attacks and leaving a squad behind to be a solid base of fire and still have an adequate assault. Like, just that extra nine people is going to be so, so useful. But that would definitely be a squad thing. That's me behind you. I'm holding your southeast one. Dude, I died so fast. Yeah, dude, I watched you get, um... Taken out by that frag, unfortunate um, spacing. I look like you were healing the squad lead when a frag landed right on your head. Where else are uh, people chatting? Um, Dave, people are chatting on uh, YouTube as well. Uh, did they? Was the was the speed of the server just put up? Was that me? Is that just me? Looks like the uh, 
The smoke looks uh, smoke's really fast. Yeah. But it doesn't look like they're they're moving. Yeah. They're, they're they're getting sped up. Cyclo oh cyclone goes down. And so does sled dev or sled yeah, sled V. Is that who took those shots? I money's I money's has a yeah, very I'm solid put or angle down this uh alley. And he's just picking them off. Takes out another I money's in such a beautiful position with Viper securing his flank. A ninja looks like he might get picked off here by Pony. They're going at it. Yeah. Oh, nin ninja, ninja what is he in? doing? What is he's he doing? He's in here. That was the timing on that was amazing. Yeah, Pony had just pushed pushed behind that uh that corner to. <laughs> he pushed behind the corner to reposition and misses Ninja Delicious jumping in to the police station and, and Ninja Delicious is in a very solid spot. If he can secure this, this will be the the foothold, the opening that the US have to get actually into the police station. Yes. Pony's watching though. One nade would be, for either of them would oh oh Ninja Delicious gets up. Pony can't see. It's it's Pony so dark. See. Oh <laughs> he goes Pony down. goes down. Wow. Great job, Ninja Delicious. That was amazing. Yeah, that was great. It's okay, Guru. You're too far away. Update on the kills. Eleven for the US, sixteen for the insurgents. US making a making a go at it. Still about five kills behind, but there there there's a shot there's there's a shot. Viper goes down to Team kill. Rio. Unfortunate grenade didn't go far enough. Wow. Ryu may no he'll he'll be fine. He just needs to find a medic. So it looks like they're getting blue one into the fight here. Yeah. Pushing from the east side. Can you see the left corner? If Ninja can hold his spot. To the back of the finery. As you said, that, that'll be the key to the push police station. From the main entrance. However, however, we got Patrick Star pushing Ninja. I don't know if Ninja here. Luckily, Ninja just has squad comms. He, he's a fire team lead. So he's able to keep the you you just hear command comms going. Like he's able to communicate that they've got this foothold. Um, right. you can hold it. Does not know Patrick Star is there though. Oh, uh, by the way, how long do each of our operations last? Um, most of our operations are about forty-five minutes to an hour, fifteen minutes long. They can be as short as thirty, but they can go as long as like an hour. We try and keep it at about an hour length is our ideal per round i should say so it's two hours per session because we do uh we will be swapping sides and getting these guys to you know beat as the ins or the uh, u.s you know, we, when we roll phoenix and his squad slowly clearing to the east side of police station very slowly they are being meticulous with these building clearing and they don't want to get snuck up on they're tired of getting uh, picked off by grenades, so they're watching their spacing. So far, so good, even though he's down to five. Breaching charge down. Clear the area. Stop. Negative pair on me facing southeast. Yeah, I can walk southeast. So it's like red three. Black. Say again? What's the move here? ID goes off. ID. Um. I mean, I, I would keep doing what they're doing. Uh, the only thing that would get in their way, maybe, is Red 3 if they decide to push northeast, flank around Phoenix's guys. Uh, this is where spacing, 360 security comes in play a lot. Uh, so far, it kind of seems like a stalemate, to be honest. The red team, the insurgents definitely do have a, a bigger focus on their west side. Definitely seems like a stalemate, as in there's no real way to to efficiently defend your east side. 
right. without being on like rooftops uh, and no, getting picked hold up hold from rain. I'm gonna try and go through this compound to ourselves. I think maybe yeah, if this red three element of Blackbeard and Scrubby is just not really a, a full squad, it's just a buddy team. So Pushed east a little bit to look down the alley with Patrick Star. I think that would be a pretty adequate defense for the East. Now Patrick here. Phoenix's guys are pushing Patrick. <laughs> he's gonna be in a. He's gonna be you're gonna be very surprised. You're gonna play on this building to our northwest. Let's see what they're doing. You're gonna push up the alley, enter the doorway, and then go in. It's the northwest, right? Or you said something. Yeah, from northwest. northwest. Got me. right on it. Me pushing down. in. Very nice breaching. Second room is not clear. Second room is not clear. Check your left. Clear. Check your left. Phoenix in this uh, room clearing. He, er, he's clearing it's out clear. a compound now with his uh, squad, Dead Cow, and Miyamoto. Even with these small numbers, their their clearing is actually very nice. It's pretty solid. It is. Um, obviously, you like a, a couple more guys with you when you're clearing these buildings. ID goes off. Oh no, that was a satchel charge, I believe. That was a satchel charge. Yeah. I'm moving down now. Phoenix. Yep. Go west. Copy. Did Phoenix just go down? No, no, he's, no. he's still up. Yeah. The graphic was wrong. Phoenix, where do you want to try? Red, thank you. you. Yep, so oh, right. he might go down here, Patrick. Here, we can move here. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. Be bad. Oh, he doesn't see him. Spotted. There he goes. Wow. He dives into a garage. Phoenix is okay. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah. Good, good presence of mind to just get off to the side as quickly as possible. He's okay. He's got a medic right there. Phoenix will live. Patrick starts position is given away. Ninjalis just. Now trying to help secure this uh, foothold even more. He knows exactly where he is. He's putting down his satchel, satchel charge oh, on no. the building, and he's running. He's running. That satchel charge is placed. We should see. He hears it soon. though. Actually, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He may go off here. Oddball. Oddball and possibly Patrick. Oh no. It is a timed satchel charge. About 20, 25 seconds, and the time is ticking away. Takes oh, we got an oddball. Good IED. You don't wow, see that often. Dumb. It's so hard to be effective with those IEDs because you can you, you can hear it's a solid like thunk sound when it goes yeah. down. So if you're if you're paying attention, if you're listening for it, you can hear it and you know to get away. About 20, 25 seconds later it'll explode. It's like Blackbeard sees ninja. Patrick's still alive. Another oh, IED. An IED. Yeah, that was an ID. That wasn't a satchel charge, I believe. Ninjalish is still alive. Ninjalish has has been Ninja. very, very good on holding this this these angles. Unfortunately, yeah. he's having trouble getting other people over the over the the fence wall onto this uh, into police station. Update on kills: thirteen for the U.S., nineteen for the insurgents. So about six kill difference still. Insurgents have that upper hand because of a uh, defender's advantage. Oh, the timing! Wow, the timing in this game is amazing. One one person is peeking and the other one is hiding, and then the other one starts running away after peeking, and then the other one starts peeking. It's like the, the, it's like a it's like a song. It's like a <laughs> you know it's just go back and forth, back and forth. They're smoking up the alley. They're going to try and make a push for Ninja Licious here. Phoenix, Sebi V, Miyamoto, Londards, Silas, and Ninja. Only six remaining versus... Uh, Ninja might get Patrick here. 12. I don't think Patrick's... Command, you know for sure that we have Ninja sees him. He, he saw Patrick. 
He's just afraid to speak for too long, yeah. Yeah, he's afraid to die. So it's six versus twelve. So about double the amount of uh, infantrymen left for the insurgents. We're down to four strong. Copy. This is the time to move for the U.S. Scrubius and Blackbeard on the flank. Silas watching that flank, though. Oh, he goes Takes down. Out Scrubius. Scrubius, yeah. Scrubius by command. One down. Roger. Gotta love that 360 security. It's important, folks. There's, it's just the little things, spacing, 360 security that 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 really make the the operation run a little bit smoother for your squad. Make sure you're not getting snuck up on or dying to just one thing. Like, right. is someone holding that alley south? I can still place a ladder on this eastern wall. Yeah, yeah. Once the smoke fades, I can hold the alley south. I can try my best too. Uh, Ninja Lich just gets one tap by Alpha Guido. Um, I advise me Alpha Here's their foothold on the other side. Gone. It's not to say it's all. It's lost though. We just lost our guy inside the Might have gotten yeah, the not there, though. Please tell now. me Bcar is still up. Um, Dave, is like Bcar still? He is still up. Take to, taking side. over Oddball's position go on the uh, compound to the south. West aggressively. We're just going to have to use the western wall of the prison. Copy. I'm going to take center. And then cross. Alright, Roger. Alright, north of so the Blackbeard may. Contact is definitely oh, west in the alley. <laughs> Blackbeard has a perfect angle. Yes. On, yes, on he does. three of them. He's pushing. Oh no. Semi V goes down. down. He... Oh. Blackbeard goes down though to Miyamoto. And then I'm wow. pushes Phoenix. So two US down for two trade. That could have been so much worse. If Blackbeard had held his position, Silas, Miyamoto, and uh, Sebi V would have gone down. Yep. That was a uh, timing. It's been a uh, thing all, all game. Uh, I'm on O's, or however you say his name, is pushing behind Silas and Miyamoto. Takes down Miyamoto. May take out Silas here. Liberal Pundit coming to help. Lawn Dart's coming in behind, though. Oh, he kicks out Imo. Wow. Neo, the insurgents turning that switch to aggression and uh, pushing onto the U.S., just completely just wrecking their push as they try to reposition. Down from six to two. Not looking good for the U.S. It is not. Londard's pushing. Takes out Takes liberal. Out liberal. I don't know. Was that the only one? I don't know. We've got a breaching charge about to go off. That's my last one. Copy. Let's punch it west from here. Up to me. Charge goes off. Doesn't get any kills. 18 kills for the U.S. And 23 for the insurgents. I feel like it's been that the entire game. Like the the insurgents have maintained that five to six kill difference. Londards yep. goes down to Cookie Wolves. Wow. That's a huge kill. Um, yeah. Oh, oh takes out Alpha Guido. That's command, yep. right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So command takes out command. Is there anyone else up on the U.S.? I don't believe so. Doesn't look like oh, it. Silas, Silas goes down. Goes down. G -G. Okay, just two up. Those. So you still have to complete the mission? Yeah, the, uh, you, uh, as long as you're alive, you have to try and complete the mission. And as attackers, it gets a little bit awkward as, uh, you know, you lose so many guys that he doesn't make a push viable. And and that's the decision from command that has to happen. I think the call to continue to reposition at first was fine. One reposition, maybe even two repositions, it's okay because you you still still have the numbers. But by the time you get down to like that fourth, and as they yeah, try to reposition buddy. with their last six guys, GG, you just don't have enough guys yeah, to make an effective spearhead into enemy territory.
And we are live. Let's get going. Operation Reaper. They're pulling out their guns now. Let's go fly over and check out the silence kits. They are a lot. Of, they are really cool. If you look, and they actually do work. They suppress very well. We actually missed the first kill of last round because of how far away we are from the suppressor. It's almost completely silent, and it's very hard to tell which direction it comes from. Yeah, Great work. Uh, I believe Pony was the one who created this one. Uh, uh, yeah, I believe so. So cool. Crossing. Two the west, I think. The right, satchel charge? Um, I'm not sure I understand the reference, but it's a satchel charge. It's a satchel full of C4. has about the same um, explosion radius as an IED. And it's timed instead of having to call it. So it's about 20-25 second timer. Oh, off of live, blue two, blue four, moving west, northwest, blue three, command, and blue one, moving south into the mosque area. Red two and red one, moving into police station from the southwest. Red two actually looks like it's in like a flanking-ish position on the southwest. Going to put them pretty far out of the action if they stay over there. Red one looks like they're going to take a position west police station with red three on the proper with command. Who's closest? Red four? Excuse me, blue four? Yep. Uh, looks like it. Now, Guido, I don't know if Guido can see those three guys from where he is. Let me get over there. He says no eyes. This is weird phrasing. Like, I've got eyes, but I've got no eyes. <laughs> Yeah, see, the, this is exactly what Phoenix did mid round last round. And Alpha, I think Alpha saw that um, I mean, I guess it kind of is. as a good spot to have an overlook. However, both of them see now that it's too high and the insurgents are not dumb and they're not going on the roof. So, yeah. I don't think they're going to see anything from there. Good idea, though. That's where Alpha wants to command from, too. Yeah. Probably not going to work out for him. I mean, I don't know. I think the shooting aspect of it, I think you'll be able to see where they're shooting from, just not where their bodies are exactly. So, Beware and Patrick Star actually have eyes on the hill south of police station, taking shots at Dead Cow and Miyamoto. Dead Cow goes down from this long range fire. Saying, if you're going, go. Boogies, tell them to push in. Get moving. And that's two kills, four kills for the U.S., two kills for the insurgents as things kick off. Action really quickly. Do we go over insurgent kits total for this round? I don't remember. No, we did not. I'll do that right now. Yeah, let's go uh, quickly go over the insurgent kit. Nice you, know, you guys know what these these guys have to defend. Yeah, so the insurgents have one SL, one med, and then platoon kits to get one scout, two ARs, two lats, and two raiders. Uh, last round, the I believe the raiders get um, IEDs. Uh, yeah, but I know, I know, the, yeah, I know the scout gets one. I believe they use the IEDs two or three times. Uh, did not get any kills, I, I don't think. Um, but you never know this round, it's, it's a totally different round. If they use them correctly, it sounds like an IED just went off. Yeah, Actually, it doesn't look like it took anybody out. No, but uh, blue team's about to cross on t uh, cross over into the um, police station. Real pro sitting there, ready to uh, mow down anybody who climbs over this uh, fence. But uh, he gets taken out by a grenade. Ben B... Pushes in, no problem. And this is got a foothold. Yep. Oh, but uh, BVD. 
and almost takes out Zabari, but uh, <laughs> gets killed. Almost takes out Zabari. Um, very nice idea. Benby goes down to Sled V. This is definitely a a solid push for the U.S. onto this uh this police station. Really, really than good hold. Yeah. yeah, much better than last round. Are any IEDs here to defend this? No IEDs here for the, uh, yeah, yeah, as a bait yeah. or something along those lines. If there is an IED on the, uh, what is it, Eastern Wall Police, that would be a huge be kill. Or, yeah, yeah, a huge couple kills, yeah. So they got about a squad into the police station now. Um, rest of the platoon, red one, or excuse me, blue one on the southeast, blue two on the north, red two and red one still outside the point on the west, red four only oh, ones near to defend. Down. Go. And Miyamoto's actually got a good, good little crossfire right, onto B car, B car going down, Keep Jack going at hundred tag. And they know where he's at. Miyamoto's tossing a frag. Oh no. Is it? Oh, too far. That would have been it. It would have been a tough shot to shoot. Sugar goes down house. by Cyclone, I believe. Oh no, they're getting picked apart. Oh no, they are. They need through sixty. Yeah. If you don't take the hill across the river, we can't go anywhere. So Pony's saying they, they're not going anywhere with these guys on top of the hill. He is 100% correct, uh, meaning Blackbeard needs to take care of D-Leak and Miyamoto. Blackbeard's getting getting his guys in the know, making sure they're going to push in where they need to go. Now I think Cannon needs to push his guys from the north down south, or southwest at least. Yeah. Blackbeard's always very clear and concise with his... Uh, his orders, making sure his guys know what they're doing, and Blackbeard's right, moving off. Yeah, that IED went off. I need, uh, Patrick and guns. Kill anybody? No, I did not. They are so close to killing people, but none of them do. <laughs> That's got to be frustrating for these guys. Oh, uh, grenade kill. Hold on, hold on. On on Kingen. No, I don't even know where that was. That a TK? I don't think it was. No, definitely not. If you see where Kingen is right now, he's way yeah. back there. I don't know who threw that. Maybe. <laughs> but what a grenade. Yeah, what a grenade. Wow. It landed right in front of him, too. So Mimoto and D League pull back from that position on the hill. Gonna open up Pony Squad to continue their pressure on the east. And uh, Miyamoto, or not Miyamoto, uh, Blackbeard has essentially lost these guys. But being able to secure that south hill is going to open up the, this element that's in the actual police station, allow them yeah. to, to move a little bit more freely. Now, if Jack, Jack at 100, if he can put on a satchel chart, Four, update. Here. definitely kill Cyclone. Is this an Trigger event? Like this is a multi. Yeah, this is a one life start. event. Uh, Muscleball. It is our multi cam stream. So we've got two commentators in the sky. Um, both me, Shadowed Ritual, and uh, Total War HQ. And then we've got a, at least three cameras on the ground of just POVs as they play. Some of them might be dead, so they might not be on the ground. But uh, we have a couple. Oh no! Someone just got. Yeah. Muffy Man walks right in front of Muff or uh, Best Pony as he's firing. Now, I don't know where he just got shot from. Got some, uh. Oh no. Oh no. His IEDs are just taking people out. Alpha Guido is saying, Stop the team killing. I'm good. I was just telling to get everybody out of there. And they even knew it was going down too. Moving. Best pony pushing up very hard, let me lead, let me lead. rushing it. He might, he might get the drop on uh, insurgents here. Ooh, frag out onto Ninjalicious takes. Oh, that's Phoenix's frag. Takes out Ninjalicious. Team kills are doing so much this round. 
helping out both teams. Seven kills for the U.S., ten for the Insurgents. Insurgents up by three. They're in the better position, I think. I think. Send Charlie to you. Me and Bravo are going to hold this northwest side. Copy. Remixes has that same it's angle that uh, who had who had that angle? Uh, I money's I think had this angle last round. It definitely cuts off a lot of the uh, insurgents and their movement. ID going off, going to help dig down this this fob. And what what happens when they dig down the fob in, in this situation? Money man going down. Two best bounty. Okay, so, Total Dino. Do they do they switch to defense? Um, How does this work? I believe yeah, I believe they switch to defense. Let me check on the doc. I believe that is the um main objective. <laughs> IAD goes off. That was Zabari's own satchel charge. Yeah. He didn't get out of the way in time. <laughs> Goes down. Kill? He takes he takes one out with him and the fob, but he goes down in in uh, exchange. Wow, I mean he died for a cause. They're securing it. Jack 800 goes down. Best pwn is the only one remaining in the area as uh, Dwarf Side Stubisky Revy and Ethel inside police station. Blue team reinforcing now. Update on kills: ten to sixteen insurgents in the lead. U.S. do complete their objective now, so this may swap everything around. Enemies all around me. I'm gonna die. Thank you. Dave Bcar went down pretty early. He's been dead for a while. Don't expose yourself any further north, Phoenix. Jacob, back American down. suicide yeah. bombers OP. <laughs> Phoenix sets his IED so down. Down around here. Should see this explosion here soon. Phoenix gets domed by uh, somebody. IED doesn't take anybody out. So 11 kills for the U and 16 kills for the insurgents. Again that, that, again, that five kill spread. Same as last round. Jesus Christ. Seems about, yeah, average. The defender's advantage is just really, really in favor of the insurgents. Um, the U.S. are using their breaching charges much more effectively, in my opinion. The deception charges much more effectively. We've heard more go off. We've, they've gotten slightly more kills, or at least injuries, and it's really given them that opening to push through uh, police station. It's really effective. Right. Good enough. A lot of communication going on between Pony and Alpha. I one, my south right now. Two, I need you spreading out. All right. I count six one, U.S. Two, versus going into the prison cell. Is it clear? No, negative. No, nine no, insurgents. Have one guy cover the northeast side. So even though south. the insurgents are up, I need your other two about around four the, kills. Uh, the northwest side. Try to see if you can get one guy. They only have about the three now. people. There are contacts to my direct south. This doorway down here. There are contacts on the other side of this right now. A great communication by Alpha Guido to his guys in local. Alpha Guido making sure his guys are in the know. They they just, as as much information as he has, they now have, and that's really going to help everybody be on that same page. Revy going to try and push these guys. Best Pony has the angle. Oh, Sears going to try and push him. He didn't see a thing. God damn it, Sears! You don't. We don't need to use pine cones, mate. All right, our objective is just to hold this part of the compound. Hardball. We are sitting by hold angle. One time dead. Tony, I want you on. I want you to take Sears and seal that door. Do not look out. Now, if they had a satchel charge, they can just put it down on that door. Oh, pony just pony just killed him. Pony's reaction is hilarious. Oh, boy. Two, watch your six. Yeah, alleyway behind yeah. you guys. Watch out. You good? 
Really good communication. I've been really impressed with communication for the US so far. Imo gets one kill. Cycling Meg. Great angle. Great angle. Copy. I hear one moving same door right now. Another one pushing that doorway that pony's looking at. Don't do it. It's just sit tight. Still nine. I guess I miscounted for the the insurgents. The insurgents now have nine versus the five for the U.S. Defenders advantage in favor of U.S. now as they just need to hold their position and wait for the insurgents to push them. Yep, I'm waiting. Don't worry. Looks like a doobie scoop. Watch out. I think they're putting frag out. Doesn't look like he wants to peek that. Yeah, he might though. He shouldn't. He should, but is his uh, curiosity going to get the better of him? Uh, I mean... <laughs> Frag out from Cookie Wolf onto Londarts. Goes a little bit far. Londarts is A-OK. -okay. Still any negative. Enemy presence north, northeast, potentially. Yeah, they hear Londarts crawling on these yeah, rocks. Yeah, they're hugging the wall. I can hear them. They're hugging the wall. I can hear them hugging the wall. Yeah, every time Londarts steps on these rocks on the west, it's just, it's loud. Yeah, I hear him now. Oh, yeah, they're on the rubble pile on the It'd corner. It'd be risky, but I really think we should use a breaching charge. Oddball saying that no, we should use a, no, they should use a no, breaching charge. That's how Zabari died. Oh, <laughs> Lonard takes out Cookie Wolf. Dubisku gets the better of Pony. Gets Pony. Wow. Alpha Guido. Yeah, oh, great shot. We don't get the double kill. Triple kill. Alpha you know, Guido. Oddball gets one. Guido gets two. Crossfire from Alpha Guido and Oddball was amazing. I Monies gets Londarts as he bolts over. Wow. Great, great communication. Great crossfire. They they did lose two, but they took out four. That's value. Oddball I Money's gonna try and push Hawk and Groot. I Monies goes down. Oddball takes out Hawk. Oddball gonna actively push Groot. Who's gonna get the better of him here? He's gonna try and bandage. Hawk's gonna get him. I know, I'm putting in fucking charge. Oddball, what are you doing? He's trying to put a charge down. Goes down to Hawk. Guido, uh... Alpha if they're throwing grenades, if there's if there's smokes for grenades, Alpha would be dead. Right. <laughs> the amount of smokes, dude. Revy is alone oh. here. One yeah. versus four. Command versus the world. I'm so lonely. Alpha Guido. Uh, Mr. Lonely. Hey, well, we're nearing the uh, end of oh, round two. Own. We've been live for about an hour and. Two hours and 30 minutes, wow. Yep. Nearing uh, that two hour live time, or two and a half hour live time. Guido. Alpha Guido oh. getting pushed. He can't see him, he doesn't see him, he doesn't know where he is. He's looking the wrong He's direction. Shooting. Oh no. <laughs> he down. did not see Dwarf or Groot, and uh, that angle, unfortunate. Insurgents managed to retake the police station. They did lose their objective, so it's a, uh, yeah. a tough, so it's technically it's a, a good, tie a good try. from the U.S. completed their objectives and surgeons managed to kill all of the U.S. Nice try for the U.S. though, managed to bring it back.